a certain pressure taking on you know, because the drive is so celebrated and you're obviously taking on someone else's subject matter and redoing it all to rehash it. Do you feel a sense of responsibility and a, and a little bit of nerve happening to you? Well, yes, completely. Um, I have to say, when the, uh, we shot the film, Drive wasn't still out. We were actually shooting the film, and Nicholas was in Cannes with Drive. And a few days later, I mean, obviously, we were shooting, and all of a sudden, he wins he, in Cannes, best director with Drive. Um, I get a message from the producers telling me that Nicholas is coming tomorrow, straight from Cannes. And I'm thinking, oh my God, Nicholas is coming. Uh, that, that's you know that's that's a lot of pressure right there. Um, but it was great doing it. I have to say that at the beginning, when the producer approached me to make the film, I knew obviously Pusher, I knew uh, Nicolas' work, and already back then it was it was a great responsibility and something that at first I didn't want it to do because it felt this is too much. There is no way of uh, of doing you know the right doing a, a, a proper remake of such a great film. Uh, but the producers were, they insisted, they said, listen, we don't really want to make a remake, we want to make an adaptation in London today. I read the script, it was a great script, and I said, well, and obviously they told me that Nicholas was executive producer in the film, executive producer in the film. So I said, okay, if you let me take the material and make my film, I'll do it. And ultimately that's what, you know, what everyone wanted to do with the material. So, you know, at that point I said, okay, I'll do my best. Uh, we're trying to make something different. Ultimately, I think we make something different, but at the same time, very truthful to his film, to his story. So, I'm very happy. <laughs> very relieved. Very, very happy. relieved too. I'm very happy that it went very well. It's a great film. Also, Agnes Dean is in it. I know there's a lot of buzz around Agnes Dean. I mean, there always will be. She's one of the best models in the world. Was. Yes. Um, how was it working with her? Because she seemed very natural on the set and very comfortable with her character, and it just seemed to flow very naturally. Well, Agnes is a fantastic actress. She's a very naturalistic actress. She had it inside, so it was very easy uh, just working with her, talking about the, her character, and then see someone who lets herself uh, be driven in the film. So I was just very, very, very lucky to work with her, and obviously Richard Cole also helped a lot, you know, in all the things that they have together, and she was just fantastic. So it was like a blessing having her in her first major role, having her in Pusher. I have to ask about the music as well, because I mean, the music is fantastic during the film, but it's such a big element of the film. Orbital play all the way through, and it's a very intense music and stuff. I mean, obviously the music goes hand in hand with the film, and it drives the pace of the movie. What was it like having that as an element to work with? Well, at first, we didn't think that we were going to be working with Orbital. We had other things in mind as we were shooting the film, because we feature quite different London clubs in the film, great clubs, and we thought, okay, we'll be using different music, you know, basically the music that we were listening in those clubs, because we shot in real clubs with real people. But then as we were editing, we felt that the film would benefit a lot from having a proper soundtrack, you know, and at that point, the idea of working with Orbital came up. We showed them uh, what we were doing, they loved it, and they came on board, and ultimately they just composed this amazing soundtrack for the film. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.